It is a beautiful Sunday morning and we just got a spontaneous invite to a Triumph test ride event with breakfast with the Rebels. So we literally just woke up and left. So super excited to see the Rebels again, hang out and also try some really nice Triumph bikes. So yesterday was actually our first time to get up close and personal with some Triumphs at the Tam Bike with some friends. And right after that, just by coincidence, we're gonna get to try some actual Triumphs. So, yes! So yeah, look here, yeah? <laughs> Yay! Finally reunited with the Rebel. We got Miss Grace, we got Mam Indai, whom I'm meeting for the first time. Hi! Hi! hi. Nice to meet you, finally! Finally! I'm going to go to the next one. 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 I'm going to go to the scrambler. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm Oi, yala ka tawa. Toyota. Ang Toyota. Where's the rest of you? Ocha. Oh my god. Hi. Hi, oh nga. Thank you. I'm on the Trident. Thank you. And BB's on the Bonneville. Okay. Thank you. Let's chase BB who's on the Bonneville. Oh, this is a nice bike. Oh my gosh. So this is the Trident, which is their entry level 660cc three-cylinder. It's really nice, quite smooth. I like it. It's actually, I mean, once it's going, it feels super light. The riding position is like easy, slightly aggressive, but still easy. And everything just feels light, the clutch pull, the throttle is super smooth. All right. Whoa. Rather fun. Oh, it's great. It's actually really friendly. I mean, you can feel the power, but it's really easy. Really easy to flick around. It's really nice. I can see. I, I can see it. It's a friendly, nice bike. Beautiful to look at. Fun to ride. Let's go one more round. I get it. It does feel like, you know, entry level and that it's not going to kill you. But first impressions, you will have loads of fun on this bike. And that's the Trident. <laughs> How is it? It's so smooth, Mom. This is what we got. What's this? 900? 900. Okay. That's why we got it. Because when we're tired, we're tired. Tall. Thank you, Sweaty. Right? It's comfortable. It's comfortable. It's comfortable. It's comfortable. We're going to get out of the tiger. So we've got the street scrambler, which is, whoa, no, look a flat foot ako. <laughs> awesome. All right, let's start it up. Okay, the street scrambler has a super low seat height. Funny. Okay, okay. You can feel it. Smooth, powerful. So smooth, gosh. It's just having that exhaust right beside your, your leg is a little bit hot. All right, let's take this baby out. It's an exceptionally smooth bike. Oh my goodness. 
So coming from lower priced bikes, having tried like you know the KTM 390s, ridden the Interceptor, you can really feel you can really feel the difference that riding a premium bike makes i mean it's not a game changer if you're talking about like you know oh i don't want to ride any other bike again but for sure it is just overall just feels so smooth whoa and if you just mistakenly roll on a little bit too much throttle you can really feel it I mean I, I do see now what the fuss is about let's do this it's actually really friendly like you can feel it has all the power to give but I can feel it. it's a perfectly appropriate bike for Sunday morning jaunt got quite a bit of engine heat but nothing crazy yeah the acceleration is actually quite sane yeah it's really good I like it I like it quite a lot a lot I don't know it feels like apart from the engine heat it feels friendly enough to be a daily rider the seat height's super low the power is really smooth not jumpy oh gosh all right oh and the suspension too it's really doing a good job with the bumps i quite like this motorcycle this is a very pleasurable bike to ride the smoothness, the power, the suspension, and the looks. Woo! Suits me quite well. Easy 100. Easy. It doesn't feel like I'm doing anything insane with it. Yeah, what a lovely, excellent bike. So honestly, just like yesterday, which was the first time I got to try an R90, I almost regret to find out what I've been missing when not trying the European bikes or just the high-end bikes. It's just so smooth. Oodles of riding pleasure. Oh my gosh. Such a perfect, such a perfect riding position for me. Perfect riding height. The only thing that's not perfect for me <laughs> is the price. This is the Triumph Tiger 900 GT Pro, the bike that we came here to try. Okay. I will back ride with BB. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if you buy a you select this one. How do you turn? This is for a joystick, for a So, this is what you can see to navigate the display. Oh, that's so cool! Yeah, select press lang din. Does it fill you up? Solo with... Oh, oh wow, yeah, this is the good stuff. One, uh, one thing that I have to is adjustable yung suspension niya on the rear. So yeah, it's comfort. Niya. But this one, it's going auto na siya. depends on what you want to choose. Is this, is this, is this a, like a lowered, I mean the... Parang, oh, this one is a standard seat. Standard seat, seat so yeah. So there's one, that's the lowest. The black one, okay. Let me know if... Standard or okay. Okay. All right. Oh wow, this is an amazing seat. <laughs> yeah, grab it. It's, there's so much space. I could have coffee and read a newspaper back here. But you're probably not gonna let me because you don't. Yeah, let's go. Ready. <laughs> I wasn't prepared <laughs> for the power. Okay, let's go to Baguio. Ang gaano ang clutch, di ba? Lahat ng tinray ko, ganun yung clutch. Like, oh my gosh, you don't even feel that hump. So guys, you can't hear um, Pia on the cons, but she's saying that it's it feels so light. 
compared to the Himalayan that she just feels really siga and really confident. She just warned me that I need to hold on tight. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! Just some Ferraris. Or Lambos, I mean. No, a Lambo and a Ferrari. Yes, yes, okay. So, guys, this is the first time I've had the back ride where I really cannot let go of the grab rail or else I'm going to fly off the bike. But this is an incredible back ride experience. To finally be on the high end adventure touring bike, it's night and day. Oh my god. <laughs> Baby is currently freaking out over the quick shifter. And it's also going down, I think. Yeah, it's up and down. Oh my gosh. So so as it turns out, these big huge looking bikes are actually quite light to handle. I get it now. <laughs> So Phoebe just said she would 10 out of 10 buy and so would I! 10 out of 10 if I had a cup, like a million lying around. E Z. Okay, I'm holding on tight. Give it to me. Holy moly. <laughs> it's actually kind of scary. I'm, I'm holding on tight. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Good. So spoiled now with the quick shifter. <laughs> so spoiled. So wrong. We can't get used to this. Okay, so over the past two days, we have realized the reason why people buy very expensive bikes. The two of us have been so skeptical before, so why do you need to spend so many millions of pesos on a bike? Now we know like, like it's the best of everything except simplicity. <laughs> I'm just going to follow your body. <laughs> it's so funny, <laughs> I'm, I'm good. It's, it's a very, very fun ride. Let me show you. Right. So now we're on neutral. Yeah. I'll put it out to first gear. Yeah. You know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Yeah. I'm not gonna speed to throttle anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So all you have to do when you're at the stop is just wait for the light to go, and then you're already up there. Right. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah. So you just basically do it. So if you want, just like go. Yeah. But you don't need to keep it from stalling. Exactly. Yeah. Really cool, beautiful bikes. Thanks for thanks for today. Yes, sir. Yeah, all right. Hey. Yeah. So yeah, the GoPro is dead. I'm kind of lazy to um, change the battery. But anyway, one last test ride. We're gonna try the Triumph Tiger 900 GT Pro, and it's really nice and manageable. What the who the thought? Look at who the thought? Yeah, no. bad to us. You made us want to get yes, big triumphs. That is my goal. <laughs> that is my goal.
yeah hope you enjoyed our little experience with triumph and meeting all of the triumph cool peeps finally meeting miss and even gaki and meeting the bikes best of all so yeah i'll close it here catch you guys next time on another episode of red xp raw Woohoo!